Are you ready to take a magical trip to Squirrel Village for Christmas? I know I am. And the squirrels are all very excited about your arrival. Elvis has been singing Christmas songs for months, just in preparation, just for you, much to the annoyance of the other squirrels. Now, close your eyes and we'll begin. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Feel your tummy expanding. And breathe out through your mouth. Again, deep breath in through your nose. Feeling your tummy expanding like a balloon. And breathe out. One last time. Big deep breath in and gently breathe out through your mouth. That's great. Now imagine a bubble of glowing light as white as the snow surrounding your whole body. And this light is so bright, it's like a mini sun. But it doesn't hurt to look at it though. It's so gentle and soothing. And this light is a force field of protection. It will only allow love and positivity to enter whilst you are on your adventures in this squirrel village. Imagine yourself in an enchanted forest. And this forest looks very similar to the one that led you to squirrel village. That's because it is. You hear the bird song above you and see the forest wildlife all around you. It's so vibrant here, and it's such a magical forest. You walk further into the forest and hear the sounds of running water. It is the beautiful clear stream gurgling and splashing over the rocks and the pebbles. You remember it now? Of course you do. Then, You hear a voice behind you shouting your name gleefully. Over here, over here. It's Red, the bravest squirrel of all. And he's accompanied by his friends, Bushy, Cyril, Penelope, and of course, Elvis. They all race towards you at breakneck speed, climbing up your body and giving your face huge kisses and cuddles. What a welcome. Red tells you, that they are so excited to see you again and they've prepared Christmas in the village for your arrival. They even have a place at the dinner table for you with your own, your very own Christmas cracker and it has your name on it. First though, you need to shrink down in size to be able to access the squirrel village again. Do you remember? Red hands over a magical, shiny brown nut to you. And you know what to do. So you pop it in your mouth, you chew it, and then you swallow. And in the blink of an eye, you are face to face with the squirrels again. Oh, it's good to be back. You head towards the squirrel's large oak tree and notice that it's kitted out in tinsel and different coloured festive lights wrapped around it and it looks so magical, so beautiful. You approach the door, well, elevator really, to the tree and notice a banner on it which says your name and welcome back is written on it too. Oh, you feel so loved here. That's because you are. You enter the tree and into the elevator and you immediately notice how warm and cosy it is inside. It's quite wintry and cold out there, but not inside the tree. It's just perfect. Red presses the button to the sixth floor, which takes you to the cafes and the entertainment area. You feel so very excited. Red informs you that there is going to be a party later and you are more than welcome to join them. Oh yes, you love a good party. 
Elvis then bursts into song out of nowhere and bellows it out of full gusto. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. But he's not a very good singer though. You all look at each other and chuckle. It's so good to be back with these guys again. The lift stops, the doors open, and you are welcomed by a majestic Christmas scene. All the shops, cafes and entertainment area look so beautiful. And they're decorated in shimmering colours. And the snow is gently falling on the ground. Which you think it can't be real, really, can it? You're inside a tree. Red leads you to the cafe, the one you went to last time. And it's a good time to catch up with all the other squirrels so you can share what you've been up to. So, spend a few minutes chatting in the cafe with your squirrel friends. Order anything you like off the menu. But I must say, the chocolate ice cream is particularly delicious. Did you enjoy your cafe natter with the squirrels? It's always good to catch up, isn't it? Bushy nudges Red and tells him that you best make a move now as Christmas dinner won't be long. Red's parents are making Christmas dinner for everyone this year and you are, of course, invited. You get back to the elevator and Red tells you to press the button for the fifth floor. That's where all the squirrel houses are located. Do you remember? You press the button, and once again, Elvis bellows out his song. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And you all burst out in laughter. The elevator door opens, and again you are greeted by an incredible sight. There is snow on all the roofs of all the quirky little houses, and it does certainly look real. But still, it's inside a tree. Wow. There are little squirrel snowmen in the squirrel gardens. Child squirrels are having fun riding around on sleighs and you even notice a squirrel snowball fight going ahead in the distance and it looks ever such fun. There is such a huge array of colour of light and of laughter all around you and you just love it here. Red enters the door of his home and he tells you all to come in. 
Mama Red gives you a big hug and says she's heard all about you and it is a big squishy hug. Then Papa Red shakes your hand and tells you it is an honour to have you round for Christmas dinner. And you shake your hand a little bit because that got squashed too. They're very strong, these squirrels. It's lovely and cosy in Red's house. And it's like a little cottage with a roaring fireplace and decorations all around it. There is a tree in the corner with little nut baubles all hung upon it and an angel proudly perched on the top and she's very beautiful. Mama Red tells everyone to sit down at the table as she dishes out the food. You then hear a loud thud at the door. What on earth is that, you think? Oh, it's Hopping Robin, says Penelope. He did say he would be attending this year. Now, Hopping Robin is quite a unique looking Robin. He had a fall many years ago. And he hurt his wing, so he's now unable to fly, which is quite sad for a robin. He has crutches to help him walk. And he also wears an eye patch. He originally needed the patch after his fall, as he hurt his eye. But his eye's fine now. He just likes to wear it as he thinks he looks like a pirate. And he does a bit. Ahoy, shipmates! Shouts Hoppin, followed by a little twirl which you think is quite impressive, considering he's on crutches. Everyone greets Hoppin with a hug. He sees you and he asks you your name, so you tell him. He holds out his fist, and you wonder what he's doing. He wants a fist bump, says Bushy. So you proceed to give him a fist bump, and you chuckle, all by yourself, and try not to let him see. You all sit down at the table and Mama Red starts to dish out the Christmas dinner. It looks delicious and the smell of the gravy, mmm, yum, yum. She also tells you she has something special for dessert too and crackers to pull. So get stuck into your dinner, chat with the squirrels and just enjoy yourself for a little while longer. Well, what an incredible Christmas dinner that was. You are absolutely stuffed to the brim. What did you have? What was the dessert? Did 
you win anything in your cracker? Well, did you? Hoppin' Robin says it's almost time for the party to begin in the village square. So you all thank Mama Red for dinner and get up and make your way over to the square. You can hear disco music. And there are other squirrels dancing in the square. You have never seen anything like this. And Hoppin' Robin hobbles up on the stage, puts a pair of headphones on and takes over DJ duties for the evening. Oh my! It is quite a sight to see him bobbing his head to the music and the first song he puts on is Rockin' Robin, which apparently is his favourite. Now this is your time to relax and have some fun at Squirrel Village Christmas Party. Feel free to do and go wherever you wish in the village. Spend some time dancing and playing with the other squirrels. Maybe even have a snowball fight or build a squirrel snowman together. Maybe you can even help Hop and Robin with his DJ duties. It's up to you. So spend a few moments enjoying your time at the party. Go on, have some fun. Wow, what an incredible party that was. What an amazing day you've had. What did you do? Where did you go? You're feeling a little tired now. And Red says they are having a sleepover at his parents' house. And you are more than welcome to join them. Of course, you would be delighted. Red leads you into his bedroom, where there are lots of sleeping bags. One for each of you. 
It is so cosy and warm in here, so homely. It makes you feel so relaxed and at peace with your squiddle friends. And of course, Hoppin' Robin. Just as you're about to enter dreamland, you hear, It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's Elvis, of course. And you all chuckle and tell him to shush, because you want to go to sleep now. Your eyelids feel so heavy now, and you feel so very sleepy, but so very relaxed at the same time, and very peaceful and very calm. So just allow yourself to gently fall asleep, feeling so content, so safe, so loved, and so very very protected and when you wake up in the morning you are back in your very own bed feeling refreshed filled with positivity and excited for your next trip to Squirrel Village and there will be another one this has been the best Christmas ever sweet dreams Night-night.